This week's playoff game will be a new experience for most members of the Holy Cross football program. None of the players have ever experienced the NCAA playoffs before. However, there are a handful of coaches that have. As Andy Lacombe reports, those coaches will lean on their experience this week as they guide the Crusaders. It's the first postseason appearance for Holy Cross football in 10 years, so a very new experience for every student athlete on the roster. But the good news for Holy Cross is they have a veteran coaching staff with a wealth of postseason experience. So I think for us to continue to treat it the same way, but also a, maybe even a little bit looser than what you might expect at this moment, to know that you know we're fortunate to be in this situation. Now let's make sure that we don't waste any opportunities with our own you know applied pressure. Let's make sure that we're doing you know again what we did to get here. Just continue to tighten it up and do it at a little bit of a better a better level. Saturday will be the 13th game of the season for Holy Cross, the most the football program has ever played in one season. And they wouldn't mind a couple of more because Bob Chesney says this team really enjoys being around each other. From Mount St. James, I'm Andy Lacombe, Worcester News Tonight Sports. Okay, thank you, Andy. Worcester State football coach Brian Cullen announced his retirement last, last Friday. Now, Cullen has been the Lancers head coach for 37 years, leaving an unmatched legacy on both the program and the school. Well, you know, obviously, if you went through... You know, some of the years, obviously, the one we won the national championship in 84 uh, with that, that first team was great. Uh, our first year of varsity when we, were, uh, we had a half a schedule, we were 5-0. and You know, uh, just kind of went over with that. Some of our teams in the mid-2000s, uh, outstanding teams. And, and even this past year, the team we had, although on the field we weren't that successful, I thought they, they brought the culture back to the point where uh, I, felt, I felt good stepping down. After Coach Cullen made that announcement this morning, every player lined up and shook his hand, and everybody is proud to have played for him. And just last week, we had a couple of alumni stop by from the 80s um, who could not speak highly enough of Coach Cullen and the impact he had. So um, whether it's uh, an older gentleman or, or these guys today, um, he has left a, a lasting impact on everybody. You know, Coach Cullen, uh, it's been over 40 years that he's just been uh, a great ambassador for Worcester State University between being a student athlete and being the football coach the last 37 years. Uh, he's really synonymous with football at Worcester State, uh, had a tremendous career, and uh, just had such an impact on the lives of hundreds of student athletes that have come through here over the years. I've said it many times before, but Coach Cullen is a class act, always has been. He will be missed around that program. He's loved and respected by all his former players. Twelve members of the Holy Cross football team named the All-League team today, including Bob Chesney, the Coach of the Year, and Dom Cozier, the Player of the Year. Awesome. Well, congratulations to them. That is all we have for now. For Kevin Shea, I'm Olivia Lemon. Thank you for watching, and have a great night.